Well, look at where we are with technology these days. Consumers have already embraced Fitbits, self-driving cars, and artificial intelligence. And with only four years to go until 2020, the future seems closer than ever. Here to tell us about the trends is head of research at Ericsson Consumer Lab, Michael Bjorn. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. Michael, it's really good to have you on. I'm sure you're having a lot of fun over there at CES. Now, I want to dive into the things that you've seen one at a time. Start by telling us about artificial intelligence. Where are we going with that? Yeah, well, actually, what we've been doing at Ericsson Consumer Lab is that we've been doing a global consumer research to see what people want from information and communication technology. And then yesterday, I spent the day walking the floors to see what's out there that actually matches up with what we see consumers are interested in. So one of the products that I picked up was this one. Have you seen this one before? I'm guessing that's the Amazon Echo, right? Yeah, so it's been around for a while, but actually I couldn't pick up a car and bring it over here because they're big and heavy. But more and more products are talking back to us, you know, and cars are one of, one of that category. We asked people about the idea of artificial intelligence and replacing the screen age, as it were. And actually half the consumers we talked to said that they believe that within a few years uh, our household appliances will talk to us and just like real people. So uh, that's a very interesting uh, scenario, of course. And, uh, well, what are they going to do? Well, you of course, you know, people are interested in doing things that they're already doing in the internet, such as uh, searching the internet or travel guides or, uh, you know, helping with scheduling and so on. But if you move to the next level, we also see consumers being interested in things as having an AI as a financial advisor or even as a medical advisor. How about that? Wow. And it's crazy to think all these things wouldn't have even been possible, you know, just maybe five decades ago. It's crazy how things are moving along. Now, aside from artificial intelligence, people really kind of want to be immersed in whatever experience they're in. So can you tell us where we're going in terms of virtual reality? Yeah, of course, if you walk the floor here, you see a lot of virtual reality headsets all over the place. And we've done consumer research about that. And it's true. I mean, people are interested in, in using virtual reality to immerse themselves in video games or in TV experiences and so on. So immersive video is going to probably be fairly big. But you also have to think about how does this really fit into everyday life? So I pr picked up a slightly different type of product. Have you seen my new headset here? Uh, uh, it's headphones, right? Uh, you what know, we, like, we yeah. all use these headphones every once in a while. Do you like them? I do. They're pretty stylish. Yeah. How about if I do like this? They look even cooler, right? So now I have a screen in front of my eyes here, and I can actually do all that immersive video right, right here and right now. This is not a virtual reality headset per se, but it gives me 2D and 3D video right like that. It's pretty amazing. We also asked people what are the most important things they would like to do with virtual reality, and do you know what's top of the list? What was that? Well, it's actually shopping. How about that? So 64% of the people we talk to uh, across major urban cities, uh, urban centers across the world uh, are saying that they would like to have the ability to see products in real size and shape when they're shopping online. Wow. You know what? Not only so, would the consumers love that, but I'm sure that the clothing companies would make, a, make it a lot easier for them to sort of sell their clothing and, and have people try out different outfits. Now, you're talking about touching yeah. people in their everyday lives. Can you tell us what's going on in terms of the smart home and sensors that will make our lives easier every day? Yeah. So actually, I picked up another little product here. Can you see this one here? Yeah. So, so this is actually a sensor that you could put into your wall, walls, for example, and it connects with a small battery to the internet for six years, and it would give you, uh, you know, updates on uh, if you have mold in your walls, and it can solve, it can see if you have water or electricity issues, and so on. So maybe smart homes are going to be sensing homes in the future, and we see a lot of these sensors here at CES. Michael, incredible products. Uh, you know, I can't believe where we're headed, and I can't wait to see what else is going to come out. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing some of these trends with us. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be on your show. All right. You too, Michael. Now stay where you are. The Morning Blend will be right back.